Now, I don't see a lot of people talking about this. I'm gonna get this car soon. I'm gonna get this car soon. And one thing about me is that whatever I put my mind to, I'm gonna accomplish it. Who gonna check you? No one. Okay, this is the channel for leveling up, okay? Point blank here. this is the channel for leveling up. Hey beautiful people, my name is Peace and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching y'all how to level up in 2021. Point blank period, that's it. Because in 2020, I learned a lot and I want to pour into my fellow kings and queens of the internet so I can help y'all because on the way to the top, I'm going to try to pull up as much people as I can, alright? That's it. That's my goal, to help as much people as I can, to impact as much people as I can. So like I said in this video, I'm going to be teaching y'all what I learned 2020, just in general, how I leveled up and how you can as well. If I said it in this video that resonates with you, please, please, and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, by liking, it shows that you like my content and YouTube will suggest more of it. And it really does help a small bit. I'm not trying to be small anymore, YouTuber. By commenting, just interaction. Are you subscribe? You want to see more of my face? And you want to get more of my content? I make college-related content. I make lifestyle, beauty, personal finance, or like things like the school system does not teach you. But most importantly, just how to live a well-rounded and better life. And this video is actually a part of a series. I have a lot of videos for this series. I don't know what I'm going to title it just yet, but I'm going to figure it out. But in this series, this is video one on how to level up in 2021. Let me just list a few of the videos that I have coming up for y'all, okay? How to be assertive. How to raise your self-esteem. How to stop comparing yourself. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. How to set boundaries. How to know your worth. And that's just five. I have a whole list of videos. And if you want to see those videos and more, I really, really suggest that you subscribe and you click the notification bell so you get notified when those videos do come out. But yes, let's get started. This information is in no particular order. But... The very first thing that you want to do is that you want to take account of who is in your social circle. I know that saying that um, show me your friends and I'll show you who you are, it really, really, really does matter because if you're trying to level up in this year and in the upcoming years, but you're still holding up to your past and people who represent your past, they're dragging you back and you're moving forward. So it's like you're stuck in one place. You're trying to go from zero to five, they're pulling you from zero to negative five. So what does that mean? It cancels each other out and you're back at zero. So you can't do that. You have to take account of who's in your social circle. Who are you feeding into? What are you giving your energy to? Who are you giving your energy to? And if they're not worth it, sniff, sniff. That's it. And then I want to cut it. But actually, like, I actually don't recommend fully cutting them out of your life. Like, essentially, don't burn bridges that you have to go back on. So just distance yourself. You can either do it without saying anything or if they want an explanation, which you don't owe anybody an explanation. You don't owe anyone an explanation, but if they do need it, I guess, let them know that you're just trying to get yourself out, that you need a little space. That's it. Short, simple, and straight to the point. Taking inventory is literally number one because if you're trying to level up and nobody else in your social circle is trying to level up too, that's bad. That's bad. You should be in a group full of hustlers, people on the same level as you because you're trying to level up. Once you do and they're not, by then there'll be a level change and they'll be like, oh, Oh, you just changed. Oh, you just did this. No. If they were leveling up with you, they would have changed too. They would have been on the same level too. But because they're not, that's what they're complaining. So just, this is just away from people who are not adding to your life. And find other people who will. Number two thing you should do to level up in 2021, you should read. Now, before y'all click off this video, I want you to understand that literally reading is fundamental. The top millionaires, the top billionaires, if you ask them what they do every single day, they all say that they read. And if they all say that and they have that in common and they're all billionaires, billionaires in common as well, don't you think you should listen to them? You have to literally pour into yourself each and every day. Yo, I don't think y'all know this, but all these books are written by millionaires and billionaires and they're giving us free sauce. Well, sometimes it's not free. I'm sure you can get a free audiobook, but like most times they're like $10 max and they're giving you sauce on how they got to where they are for only $10 and you don't want to pick up a book and read because you don't like reading. A lot of times people don't like reading, not because they don't like reading, but because for years there were certain books and certain genres of books that were shoved down our throats that we didn't like, that we were not interested in, so we automatically grew to not like reading. When in fact, y'all just don't like reading books that people tell you to read. <laughs> Okay, you find a passion that you like, I'm sure there'll be a book. If you like baking, I'm sure you like cooking books or something. You feel me? But yeah, I have a lot of books right here. Think and Grow Rich. Oh my God, this book right here. I'm gonna make a whole video about books that I recommend reading. But yeah, this book was literally $10. 
In Canada, it's 1350 This book is literally $10. Yo, I'm gonna make a whole video about books that I recommend reading. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell so you get notified when this video does come out. But like, yo, read, explore your mind, widen your mind, like see things from a different perspective. Because back to what I was saying, your circle of friends may be telling you one thing, but they're not fully educated in what they're saying. So find other people who are. Number three, find role models. Be inspired. Who do you look up to? A lot of people say they look up to a certain rapper or this and this because they're a rapper, because they're baby mama. There has to be more than that. Who do you look up to? For example, someone will say, oh, I look up to Rihanna. Rihanna, she mega superstar musician, and now she's an entrepreneur. Now she has a whole makeup line, lingerie line. Now she has this. She's doing the, the damn thing. She's doing it. So who do you look up to and why do you look up to them? Most times the people who we look up to are things that we want to do ourselves. I look up to a lot of financial advice, personal advice YouTubers and people who literally are leveling up and I like to be around that. I like to be surrounded by that. I like to be informed on things like that. So I follow them. So if you mess with my vibe and you like the vibe that I'm giving off and you want to be a boss babe with me, a boss man too I guess. Alright, be sure to click that subscribe button because it's a family here. The only place we're going is up because the plans I have for this channel, I can't say too much, okay? I can't say too much. But you are going to want to be around for that, okay? But yeah, be inspired. And when I say be inspired, you want to be constantly inspired. So what does that mean? I actually have a vision board planned. And look, I got the frame, right? And if you want to see that video, be sure to click the notification bell so you get notified when it comes out. But if you don't know how to make one, I got you. Vision board, you write down your goals. You write it down and you find pictures of your goals and your dreams and aspirations and what you look forward to. And you put it in a place where you will always see it. That's your way of constantly being inspired every single day. What else? How do you inspire yourself? By taking a screenshot of the card that you want and put it as a screensaver on your laptop, on your Apple Watch face, on your phone. For me, each and every day, the card that I want, I have to see it. So what does that mean? I'll either look up on the site that I'm trying to get it on, it all specked up and all that, or I will watch a video about it, I will see a picture on it on Instagram or something, or TikTok or something. So it's like, by me seeing it every single day, I'm inspiring myself. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get this card soon. I'm gonna get this car soon. I'm gonna get this car soon. And one thing about me is that whatever I put my mind to, I'm gonna accomplish it. So y'all be on the lookout in the next few months for that car, okay? Y'all be on the lookout. Don't say I didn't tell you, alright? Just don't say I didn't tell you. The fourth thing you wanna do kinda goes along with the third thing, but the fourth thing you wanna do is find your passion. I feel like in 2020, everyone was just so drained, everyone was just so sad, and there was no passion because people were used to doing things just because they had to, but now, you have to figure out what do you want to do? What do you like to do? Do you like baking? Okay, maybe you want to open up a baking store. Like, what do you like to do? Do you like baking, doing hair, knitting, crocheting? Like, find what you like to do and do it. What makes you happy? What makes me happy is helping other people. What makes me happy is succeeding, but not only am I succeeding, I'm helping other people succeed as well, which is why I literally had to make this channel. I just had to. So find your passion and work towards it. YouTube is one of my passions. That's why I'm constantly trying to put out one or two videos every single week just to feed it because I love helping people. I love impacting lives. Now, I don't see a lot of people talking about this, but you have to level up how you walk. I know, I know, I know. It sounds weird, but I haven't seen the prettiest girls ever and they don't know how to walk. They don't know how to carry themselves well. I have seen the prettiest girls who are not carrying themselves up like the baddie that they are. So they're here slouching. They're here like, you know, looking down. They're here not being focused or whatever. But if you stand up, you have the little curve I did, you stand up, train your back, do a little shimmy to it. And you realize that you look good, you have to change the way you walk. Guys, this is ridiculous. This is, you have to change the way you walk. First impressions, sometimes like the last ones, the first impressions are literally important. If you walk into a room looking beautiful, but you're not walking in and carrying yourself like the baddie that you are, it just ruins the whole thing. But if you walk in, you can look awful. There are people who were able to look good in sweatpants and all that because of the way they carry themselves. So carry yourself, learn how to walk. You know those people who walk into a room and it looks like they own it, you wanna be exactly like that. Walk in boss, babe, head held up high. That means you have to like practice your walk in front of a mirror or something, do that. If that means you wanna to listen to Santana's song, walk, 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 do that. So it can feel like the baddie that you are. So I realized that, so I was doing this for a long time before I actually realized that I was doing it. One day I was looking at all my pictures and I realized that I had the same pose in every single one. And it was like, <laughs> yo, that was literally how I was looking. And do you see the way I was carrying myself? The head move, the this, 
right? The attitude, the sassiness, the boldness, the confidence, that is what you need to exude every single day. And at one point, it's going to be natural. Okay, next tip, stop waiting for it to happen. Just stop. Just stop. It's not going to happen until you make it happen sometime. You have to make it happen. You can't wait for someone to do this or this. When most times, God is waiting for you to do it. To open the floodgates for other people that's coming up behind you. You feel me? So stop trying to wait for it to happen and actually make it happen. That idea, that business idea that you have in your mind that you're doubting yourself about, this is your sign to stop. Just do it. Stop waiting until you have a crazy amount of money in your account or you do this. Just do it. This is the sign. Right here, you ask for a sign. I'm the sign. Okay? On the sign, just go do it. You want to become the first millionaire, billionaire in your family? You have to go out and actually do it. You want to start a business or a clothing line or a lash line or a lip gloss line or something? But what are you waiting for? Go and do it. The only person stopping you is you. All right, so I realized that you were liking this video, but you haven't clicked that like button yet. And you want more videos from me and my face, my personality, but you also haven't clicked that subscribe button yet, so... It would be nice if you did that. It really supports your girl. And back to the video. <laughs> Next point, you have to invest in yourself. No one is going to want it more than you. So that idea that you have that's swarming in your mind, I needed to go ahead and do it. Go ahead, sis. Go and do it. Just go do it. That course that you want to take that will further take your skill or your passion to the next level, go ahead and take it. So what if it's $100? So what if it's $200? If you invest in yourself and you get better at your skill or craft, you're going to make that money back. So stop holding yourself back. You want to invest in that camera for YouTube channel? This is your sign. Go ahead and buy that camera. But even better yet, yeah, don't wait for the camera. Don't use that as an excuse. Use your phone. That's what I'm using right now. Use your phone. Literally, when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. All right, make it. Just do it. Oh, you need inventory for your business? Go ahead, sis. Go get that inventory for your business business invest in yourself invest in books once again y'all i have a whole video about the books that i want y'all to read to invest in once again like i told y'all this is ten dollars this is 17 but yes a lot of those books are like 10 15 max 20 dollars and that's literally million dollar information it's a matter of how bad you want it i need you to be organized sis sis bro uh whatever else you identify as you are trying to level up most times leveling up includes you adding more things to your list adding more things to your plate now if you cannot juggle the things you already have on your plate everything else is gonna fall down so you have to be organized to organize the things you already have plus the things you're trying to add on do y'all want a video about how i stay organized and plan everything with my planner do y'all want that drop it in the comment section or something let's talk you have to be organized so that can mean you using a physical planner which i showed in one of my old video it's a how i prepare for the semester video and like online school tips definitely check that out i talk about my planner but you have to be organized whether it's a physical planner or a google calendar which i also use or like post-it notes or something you have to be organized so figure out what works for you and just stick with it. and set your goals like literally set those goals and actually work towards it like actually write them down because by writing them down you're gonna hold yourself accountable that goes back to the whole vision board that I want to make and I'll make a video about it sometime in the next week or two the next tip save girl sis bro you are not going anywhere why do you need to keep spending Money at Pretty Little Thin or Fashion Nova. Why do you keep spending money? Just save. Like, literally, the whole nation, world. Atlanta, it really isn't shut down, but... <laughs> the whole world is shut down. Like, stop buying more things. Save money. And I literally have a whole... How I saved enough to move out of my parents' place at 19 uh, to get this beautiful apartment. Definitely check out the apartment tour, the moving vlog, and the furniture apartment tour as well. But I have that whole video coming out. I already recorded it. I just have to edit it. I have a video specifically for saving money. So if you're that sis, that girl that needs help with saving money, I need you to subscribe and click that bell so you get notified, okay? Money saving tips. Let's just save your money. Speaking of money, I need you to learn how money works. <sighs> I say this all the time on my channel, but the school system will not teach you what you actually need to know. So I will do it for you. I will help you on this journey of personal finance. So I'm gonna teach you how to save money, how to make money, how to budget, how to file taxes, how to fill out your W-2, which credit cards to get, how to get a credit card, how to build credit, things like that that the school system will not teach you, that I would teach you. Just learn how money works. I learned this a couple years ago, and I'm gonna impact and tell you guys and show you guys what I know so be on the lookout. This right here, this is the channel for leveling up, okay? Point blank here, this is the channel for leveling up. The next thing, level up your spiritual side. Whether you're a Christian, a Muslim, an atheist, or however you choose to identify with your religion or faith, improve your spiritual life. Because y'all, 2020 was a bit rough. Millions of lives have been lost. And the fact that we are not one of those and we're not the lives that were lost in 2020, that is a big blessing. That means that God has something planned for you and you can't disappoint him. God, Allah, the other religions and stuff, like you can't disappoint him. So now tap into your spiritual side. And this is what I'm working on my 
myself this year reading your bible every single day doing a devotion yesterday was sunday so i listened to the sermon by mike todd and it was peace under pressure and y'all definitely check that out because that sermon was so beautiful because we just have so much pressure in life. It's just as the semester is starting and stuff, you need a peace and it's just, my name is Peace. Peace should have peace, right? But yeah, tap into your spiritual side because yeah, you may be leveling up physically, but if you're not leveling up spiritually as well, is it really true level up? I need you to be consistent because consistency and hard work beats talent any single day. I don't know if you peep, but sometimes the smartest people or the most talented people, because they have that ego, they tend to just be lazy. They tend to not go as hard or as consistent as other people. You have to be consistent. You have to show up every single day. So whether that's for your business that you're trying to scale up or for your brand or for school or for anything, you have to be consistent. And that is what I'm working on for this channel because 2020, I was not consistent at all. But the devil is alive because I will be consistent consistent this year past five weeks or so i'm glad to say that i've been posting at least once a week sometimes twice okay so i'm not telling y'all to do anything that i'm not doing myself okay that would make me a hypocrite that would make me a bad teacher next one self-confidence you have the belief that you are that girl you're like oh okay oh sheesh you have to believe that a lot of y'all are such pretty pretty people and pretty girls but you don't have that self-confidence so that's why you don't walk the talk that's why you don't walk that certain way but if you have that self-confidence you are untouchable you're pretty and you know it but you're humble about it come on now who gonna check you no one but i really had to learn this and i learned this in what 2019 maybe 2020 and what did i do i started having myself up but let me show you guys what i would do i'd be like damn she i would not be all dressed up and spiffy i'd be like damn who is she sheesh hair laid makeup sheesh fine get no pimples Ooh, wait a minute who is she who is doing like you peace who let him know who wow <laughs> Confidence. Now, a lot of people have come up to me and be like, I don't know how she worded it, but literally, she said that I showed what it meant to be confident, not what it meant to be conceited. I'm helping myself up and realize that I'm helping myself up, but I'm not putting anyone down to do so. You feel me? I'm helping myself up just to be me. I'm boosting myself, my self esteem, my self confidence. I'm not bringing anyone down. I'm not like, oh, peace, you're prettier than Britney, or you're prettier than this, or this and that. Mm -mm. That's casino, that's, that's fakeness. That's, we don't want that around here, okay? Self-confidence is knowing that you look good and literally you shining in yourself without anybody else. Remember, it's self, it's you. Let me know if that makes sense, yo. <laughs> you always have to look your best. I'm gonna repeat, you always have to look your best. So what exactly does that mean? It means that sometimes your first impression may be your last. So however someone perceives you the first time they meet you, sometimes that will stick. And they may never meet you again. In their mind, they register you as, oh yeah, the girl with the rough sweatpants with holes in them or the messy ponytail or this and that or this and that. So look your best. Now, what does that mean to you? Look your best can mean your face all done. All right, for me, I'm not a chill person, right? It takes a lot for me to... <laughs> I really like y'all because I had to put this whole face on for y'all. But what is your best look to you? Maybe that's skincare. What is that you getting your nails done? Getting a pedicure? Getting a manicure? Getting a massage? Taking care of yourself? What does that mean to you? Whatever that means to you, look your best. Now, if you're a little bit low on the funds, all right? You need a little bit coins. You can't do your hair all the time. Sis, let me tell you about something real cool. Y'all, I need you guys to learn how to DIY. DIY means do it yourself. You want to get your nails done, but a full set costs like 80, 90, 100, 120 based on what you're getting. And that's like, ooh, you don't have money for that every two weeks. So what do you do? You go to YouTube, best friend the internet, YouTube and Google it up, how to do your own nails at home. Boom, do that, get the kit on Amazon for like $20, $40, I don't know, and practice and do it on your nails because it's your nails, if you mess it up, who, who's checking you like that? If one nail is a little bit crooked, who is looking at you like that, okay? No one. So practice and do it yourself. That's your nails. For your hair, learn how to do your hair yourself. It is 2021. There is absolutely no reason why you should not know how to do your hair, sis. You have to do it professionally, but like make yourself look, you no, know, presentable, look okay. Now this hair, y'all, I don't know if y'all know this, but this is not my hair. <laughs> this is not my hair. It looks natural, right? Wish this was my hair. <laughs> but this is not my hair. Now, what does that mean? This is a crochet hair. And guess what? I did this hair by myself. It took me, what, one, two hours to do it. And the packs were like $6.99. That's it. That is, that is it. 
And if you have a lot of hair, you don't even need all this extra pads. Just do like a you know, flexi rod or a twist out or something. And I actually have a video on this style. So if you're interested in this natural crochet look that's quick and expensive and beautiful, definitely check out one of my videos. I'm, I'm going to link it up here and put it down below. And just check it out so you can learn how to do it yourself. Also, learn how to do your makeup. Practice on YouTube. That's how I learn. Just literally practice. I still believe I'm a beginner for it, but a lot of this makeup stylists, they do the exact same thing. The only thing different is that maybe some people contour certain parts of their faces a little bit more. Or some people have like dangerous and fancy like high shadow looks and stuff. Better than that, it's literally the basic thing. Search up how to do your makeup. Beginner friendly. And y'all, I have a whole video about that on my channel. So check it out. I'm a beginner at makeup. But learn how to do this simple. Just check out that video, okay? But learn how to do your makeup as well because if you have a fancy event or something, you want to look nice, definitely makeup will enhance your beauty. I'm not saying that you're not beautiful without makeup, but if you want to enhance it a little bit, learn how to do your makeup. Search it up. Everything you need is literally on Google. You just have to go out and get it. You just have to go out and do it. But for me, in high school, I perfected the art of like looking good, but it's like effortless. Yes, when I want to look good and when I want to pop off, I definitely, most definitely will, okay? <laughs> Wonder about me, when I'm going to pop out, I definitely will. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I just look normal, chill. Like, I don't look bad, like crazy good, like I'm trying too hard. Like, you have to perfect the art of you not trying hard. What does that mean? For me, in high school, I learned that when I was wearing like baggy pants and stuff, I would look messy and tattered. Baggy pants with like baggy shirt, that was just a mess. So what did I do? I just found like form-fitting, like slim, slimming, that's what I'm looking for, slim leggings that I could wear and that would make me look better. Like it's literally jeggings or leggings or Adidas sweatpants or something, but it's the one that fits my body, fits my frame. Show your curves, girl. If God gave it to you, like, do a little something, something. Not too much now, but a little something, something. You feel me? Find warm fitting clothes. It doesn't have to be too revealing if you're not like that, but make sure it fits your figure. Also, accessories would literally make the outfit go a long way. If you guys want a whole <laughs> video more about this, I don't know what I would title this, but if you guys want that video, let me know down below. I don't want to go too in depth about it. Yeah. Simple things to look effortlessly beautiful. So as you're leveling up, as you're doing all these things, I want you to keep two things in mind. <laughs> that was four, but you guys know what I mean. Two, two things in mind. Um, Number one, I want you to make time for the little things. So I feel like I don't want you to be trapped in that hustle culture of you always working, 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 no time for free time, no time to relax, no time to watch a Netflix movie with your siblings or something. Don't do that, all right? Be sure to take time with little things, like go take a walk, go jog, go work out with your siblings, go watch a movie, go relax and enjoy the little things of life because at the end of the day, it's those little things that be adding up. But also, take care of yourself. Physically, mentally, everything. Like, go get a massage, a self-care day, work out, like, a mask, something, okay? Just take care of yourself because if you look good and you feel good, sis, you are unstoppable, okay? So take care of yourself. Just to you and just be you. Be happy. But yes, y'all, that was the video. But before we end it, first, you guys know I normally like to end my videos with a quote. So today's quote is going to be a possible caption that you can use when you look and feel like a baddie. Now, this quote is going to be updating my this, her picture. Come on, y'all. Like, ooh. I was like, okay. You look and you sound like a baddie? Come on. But if you do choose to use that caption, uh, tag me on IG at, at underscore a piece of peace. And it bring me joy, for real. But yes, y'all, how are y'all leveling up this year? What was your favorite tip? Let's talk down below, like, what do you struggle with? Do you feel attacked anytime in this video? Like, let's talk, like, we're not going bash each other. We're all a family here. We're all brothers and sisters, kings and queens who all want to go to the top. And there's more than enough space for every single one of us, okay? More than enough space. If you made it this far, be sure to drop hashtag level up in the comment section so I know that you're a real one. Share this information with your friends and family members or anyone you know who needs this information because what's the point of you leveling up if you can't bring as much people as you can to the top with you okay so share the information with as much people as you can be sure to like comment and subscribe like i said it really really does help and until next time y'all peace out